important to think that Chinese people, the, the enormous group of people, they have no voice to say. They don't want to disagree with the, uh, the, the, the governing party, they don't want to challenge the governing communist party, and they have basically no voice to say anything. But it is interesting to think that according to the Chinese traditional way of understanding the world, the Chinese do have an opinion. Chinese do have a possibility to oppose and even rebel and even threaten and even rule over and change the governing party. Because according to the Chinese traditional thinking, this mandate of heaven, this permission to rule, comes from the God. So therefore, this uh, current uh, Communist Party has uh, received the permission to rule from the heaven, from the God. So as long as this governing uh, uh, instrument, this party, uh, has this economic growth, that has been over 10% since the 1978, as long as it continues to have this economic growth and as long as it takes care of people, it still has that mandate of heaven. But what will happen if that economic growth will drop down to the 5%, to the 7%? What happens then? So according to this uh, traditional thinking, the Chinese have a right, right to rebel right to riot, right to conquer, even to change the, the government. But only if the, the Chinese Communist Party doesn't take care of its people. So it will be interesting to see, because people are also watching the natural signs, for example, if there's too many earthquakes, floods, monsoons or something like that, that happening if they are failing in their agriculture, they start to think that maybe their nature doesn't accept this governing body, that means the uh, Chinese Communist Party. So will they then start the rebel? That will be interesting to see. They at least do have that permission, they do have that traditional thinking of the mandate of heaven behind them. Se voi olla liian vaikea mulle. Please subscribe.